Hello friends, I am Sumit and uh, I am a software developer. Uh, I would like to share my experience and my uh, thoughts with you. So today I am going to tell you about the retaining your model using a TensorFlow and that which is called a transfer learning. So in transfer learning what we do, uh, we just take one model which is pre-trained in the images like net. So Google will provide us the, the repository which has a name um, you can see here tensorflow tensorflow for poet so you just google it tensorflow for poet uh, it, it shows one tutorial so i followed the steps uh, and here i use a windows so previously i used a docker to use so using docker to use the scripts but i found some trouble in that so then uh, i move towards uh, just i just install the python 3.5 and some I use CUDA and all that. So just I download the the steps which are given there on the uh, on Google's TensorFlow. So I run those scripts and I install my TensorFlow. So first step is your to install your TensorFlow. So once you install your TensorFlow, uh, you have to uh, clone this repository which is called TensorFlow for Poet, which is a two. And uh, once you clone, you can uh, use this Git clone. If you don't have Git, just download that folder and just paste it in where you want so here I so in uh, my e drive in local machine here I um, so in this folder I uh, keep this repository so this it contains three folder android android is, is this folder we are not using in next video i am going to tell you how to uh, how to use this this android folder and so it is usable for a mobile application so these are scripts they, they they given some scripts using this we can retain our model then this tf file has some folders uh, on that we are going to work so first thing is to clone your repository then the other one is download some training images which is called uh, some you can call it as a data set so uh, here they given some example like floor flower photos so you have just copied this URL and put it in your your browser so to your so in this way you can save it so I already have this one so once when you open it it has a collection of uh, five categories of flowers so every every folder has some around 600 images so to make quick uh, learning i here I, I know i'm using only just two folders like rose and sunflowers and if you wanted to download the images from the web uh, so for chrome here is one um, one link which is fatkun batch and downloader so this add-on will get link into the your your browser so in chrome if you go here fatkun and it added to your chrome so if you google some images and when you click on that and in and then call this folder so and if when you said save so it download all these images in your in your local machine so once you download those images just copy those images and paste it in your data set so like this so make the make data set some something like this so after that so after that uh, we are using um, so here we so next step is you we are we have these data sets then retrain our models so while retraining our model um, we have two options is the one is the inception v3 model and the mobile net so mobile net has a different versions like this 1.0 these are light weighted and has it require a very less memory but they are less accurate so if if you are using mobile phones so you go for mobile net and if you are using some machines then if you are using on a cloud then use a inception v3 model so so here 
they give on some scripts and some argument so this script re dot retrain means uh, if you are so in this folder scripts so we are using this retrain dot py script so this retrain has a has code which use this arguments and retrain our model so uh, if you are using ubuntu or some linux then you have to given the argument something like that but if you are using a windows like we are using now so to use the command something like this so don't use this those those slashes between this command so just directly use this command so i am going to uh, at the bottom of this uh, video i am going to paste this script so just copy this go to your that repository tensorflow for poet and open your your command from from command from just paste this and just press enter it will take some time and so this uh, right now i already has this model so you can download it but when you when you, you first paste this command it will automatically download the mobile net version and start training it so you first it make a bottle like net files and then it start training and here you can see the this accuracy and all that so if we go back you can see here tf file in models here we get this mobile net version so different versions are there if we wanted to use those so keep one thing in mind that here they give equals to 500 and these are the 500 iterations the step size steps so uh, don't use this equal to sign that will give you error just use this so just use like this no. equal just like this and then so these are arguments this bottleneck directory this is our your log bottleneck directory then this is the how many steps as you need then this will show you the which mobile net version you are going to use so here you, you we are using mobile net 0 0.2.50 and uh, this is one inception model if you wanted to use inception use this inception model and uh, this if you wanted to mobile net mobile has a different so many versions so you know, we, here we are using 0 0.50 0 0.50 with the image size of 224 so use this so the summary directory is using now this will be useful for uh, your uh, tensor board it shows you directly so first you you have to use the script to return your model so the script will automatically create your bottleneck and this graph will show you so you know these are your some like training training accuracy and uh, cross entropy entropy and all that so you will get this final accuracy of 94 percent we are running on mobile nets so if we use inception we will get more accuracy so our model is get uh, train and the output of our model name is and you can see the the um, output graph name is a retrain graph dot pb and output labels are retrain label dot so here you can see 
in TensorFlow into your file, you will get this return.pb and return.label file, which has these two labels, roots and sunflowers. So like that, your model is trained, you, it, is, uh, it is ready to evaluate. So for evaluation, we are using the script, which, which is the name a show image, sorry, label image. So label image, uh, we are using this script. So for that, we just you have to pass these two arguments. First one is uh, your graph, which is your graph name, return.graph.pb, and this is the, the file the folder where it is stored and the image which you wanted to evaluate so I am trying to test with the rows one so, so this is this one and uh, uh, if you are using inception model keep one thing in mind that you have to give this parameter as input as input height uh, for inception model is 299 input width is 299 and the input layer name is MUM and, uh, and these are the very important uh, inputs you have to pass because in if you open this script this this uh, label dot image you can see here these are some default arguments this so default they kept height as 224 224 and the input layer is layer name is input and output final final layer name is <coughs> final result so these are two these are the uh, two inputs uh, for inception model their uh, input layer name is MUL so you have to mention that so we are using your mobile net so just copy this and then we try to have it let's see what it will result out it is giving me some error might be uh, because I the name of image I give some wrong what is the name of that image? Here it is. So PG. so here you can see the result of your image so just hold on 